Hello, hello everyone. Happy Saturday. Um, okay, we're going to make a meatloaf today. So, hope you all like meatloaf. <coughs> First we're going to put the hamburger in a bowl. What's everyone doing this Saturday? more exciting than I am. Okay, um, you're going to add some tomato. I got this. I'm not going to use the whole can. So. Probably about a half of this can. It's 19 ounces. We'll try half right now. We may need more. Uh, one egg. I think this is about a pound of hamburger I'm using. Whatever, 530 grams. What is that? Okay, anyways, add your egg, um, I'm going to put celery, chop it up quite fine, wash it up, wash your hands, I washed mine before I got on. So chop your celery. Where's my knife? Uh, you probably need, I don't know, about a cup, maybe a little under for this amount of hamburger. Seriously, I don't measure much. Anyone doing anything exciting today, this weekend? We got our four-month granddaughter here today. Well, we, we had her for the night. She's quite a joy. <laughs> okay, so... It's quite a tedious part of the... <laughs> Okay, normally I would add mushrooms as well, but I forgot to grab them. So. And it makes a good meal for a day like today. Well, here in Surrey, it's pissing out. What's it like at where you're at? Okay, so. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so put that into your meat mixture. Okay, now I'm gonna dice up the onion. 
I'm going to use about a half of an onion. Okay, so dice it up quite finely. This onion I'm using isn't too potent, so. Okay, now I use soy sauce a lot of times when I'm doing meats. It just gives a little more flavor. So that's optional. <laughs> and seasonings. Hold on. <clears throat> I use that one. Some in. Uh, some garlic powder. I just use this container, but it's garlic powder. Be a little generous with that. And pepper. And my eyes are burning. <laughs> okay. The next is you want to put some breadcrumb in it. You could blend it up, but uh, it's a little, I don't know, a little too small for pieces. So I'm going to cut up a couple slices of bread. Or you could use cracker. You just slice it up. bread might be a little too moist, but it'll work. Okay. Break up the bigger pieces. You don't want them too big. that in. And that's all the ingredients you need. So I'll put this over here. Mix it up. I'm just going to use my hands. That's the best way to do it. Wear gloves if you like. <laughs> Mix it all together. And I am going to use more tomato. Okay. 
not so much of the juice out of it. Actually, and there's the whole can. all that in. Okay, so you get your pan. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to use a small roaster and um, I just got to wash it out a bit. But if you got a big loaf pan, whatever will work. Hey, Chris. <laughs> okay, so you want to use a little oil so it doesn't stick. and grease it down. Put your oven on at 350. Dang, I should have done that to begin with. Let it, usually let it heat up till for about 10 minutes. I'm a good teacher. To 350, make sure everything's out of the oven. Okay, so you want to put your mixture into this, your roaster or whatever you're using. And I like to kind of shape it a bit. Kind of press it together like so. Hey, Peggy. <laughs> Say hi to your dad for me, okay? Or get him to watch. What the heck? <laughs> okay, so after you shape it, I don't know why I shape it. I was just taught that way. Anyways, there it is. Now, I normally put tomato paste on top, but I forgot to grab it. Okay, Peg. Um, so, if you have the tomato paste, it just gives a, more of a zest to it. And, um, yeah. Okay, so, to top it off, add a little garlic powder. Your seasoning. And pepper. And there you have it. Simple, easy peasy. Anyone got questions? <laughs> Ron's laughing in the background. <laughs> okay, well, no questions. Alright, well, I'll probably be going live in a day or two, a couple days, but I'm going to wait for my oven to heat up for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to throw this in, and it'll cook for probably about an hour, just check on it, and as it cooks, it depends on how lean your meat is, you're going to have to um, use a baster. Case. Ron, where's the baster? Oh. Use a baster, turkey baster, and go around the edges and scoop up the 
or suck out the, the grease from the meat because you don't want all that crap in there. Okay, so there you have it. Have a good Saturday. I'm drinking water, by the way. <laughs> Wish I had a beer, but... Okay, ciao for now. Bye-bye.